Hey, it's Medium Jenny Lee. I'm here with the July 2023 Quick Draw Energy Tarot readings. There will be one for each astrological sign. And even though these are recorded for July, I ask them to be timeless. And when you are called to watch them is the divine timing for you. I hope that you enjoy this energy reading for your astrological sign. Cancer, we're, is it your is it your season? Are we in your season now, Cancer? It's July. I hope that all of you Cancers have a wonderful birthday, whether you're a Junie or a July. -y. We're getting ready to do your quick draw energy reading for the month of July. Cancer, what in the world is happening today? This card just came out for Gemini. This card just came out for Taurus. <laughs> I think it's really interesting. This is my second set of these. And the same cards seem to come out over and over again, no matter what the sign is. And it just really tells me that we're we're all the same you know we're all going through the same crap we're all having the same issues and this happens when uh if you ever come over to twitch and hang out with us or you are already a member of team weird um when we have a, a reading day or a reading night wednesday or friday they always seem to have a theme no matter what the reading what no matter what kind of reading it is no matter who it's for there always seems to be a theme that runs through for all of us and it seems to be happening in these quick draw energy readings too so you have two cloud cards you have postponement which is the four of clouds clouds are about the mind and you also have the king of clouds so let's take a look at these two first. Notice that they both have these gray kind of things going on around the outside edges of them. So the postponement card is all about thinking that it's not time for you to do something that you really want to do. This lady is looking out into a landscape, a beautiful, colorful landscape, feeling like this is where she belongs. This is what she wants to do. This is where she wants to be. And you can know that she's thinking about it because she has these colors on her clothing. However, for whatever reason, she's decided that it's not the time to go there to do that. But there's no reason to postpone the things that we want to do. These human lives are a little bit too short for that. So stop thinking that it's not time and make it time. This other cloud card is control. In control. It's the king of clouds. Look at this guy. Holy moly, he's got a grip on everything. He is not letting anything get past him. He thinks that if he doesn't do everything the way he's been doing it, that everything's going to fall apart. So he's built this fortress around him, but he doesn't realize that nothing can flow. If you are this rigid and in control, he's sitting on a knife point. He's built this barrier around him. There's this amazing, miraculous light that's trying to reach down to him, but instead of it getting to him, it's just bouncing off of his fortress and it's not actually reaching down to him. He's not allowing any movement. There's no growth or movement in this card. And remember, these are both mind cards about the mind. Thinking that you have to be in control, 
thinking that now is not the right time. But look at the card that you have in the middle, Cancers. It's a major arcana. It's number 11. It's breakthrough. This is breaking through all of this horse shit. Crash, bang, boom. Explosion. Breaking through it all. Now the light, the beautiful light, is coming from within the person instead of not being able to reach the person. The person is the light. The person is broke through the barriers. The person is broke through the structures and the walls. The person is broke through the frame that was holding them away from the things that they really wanted to do or accomplish or that they're, that make them joyful. They said no more. I am powerful, amazing, miraculous, bit of the divine essence, and I don't have to wall myself up and keep myself from not growing and not flowing and I don't have to wait for the things that I want to do or the things that I places I want to go or the people that I want to be with I don't have to do any of that I'm gonna break it I'm breaking it I'm getting out of here because I am me and I am amazing and I am miraculous and I can do all the things that I dream and all the things that I want without feeling like I have to control it all and without feeling like I have to wait for something. That's pretty empowering, Cancers. I think last month in June, you got a lot of watery energy. There's a lot of water there for you. Now there's a lot of, there's a lot of action going on here. This card is very fiery looking. Light and reds and yellows and oranges. Maybe this, uh, this summer fiery energy where the sun is closer to us is going to help fuel your fire a little bit and get you out of this, this funky stuff that you've put yourself in here. Cancer, I hope that this reading was helpful. Happy Cancer season. Happy birthday. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment or share if you feel inclined. If you're interested in getting a further reading, I offer a variety of personal readings. You can schedule or order one of those at my website. I also offer a variety of coffee memberships that allow you to receive monthly readings. You can always join us over on Twitch. My summer schedule for 2023 is Tuesday night is variety night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday morning is reading day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, tarot and medium readings. And as always, Friday evenings, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, tarot and medium readings. If you're interested in a small group medium reading, or taking a class with me, you can check out the Eventbrite link, which will have all of the events and classes that are available right now. Once again, thank you for watching this Quick Draw Energy reading. I hope that you come and join us again for next month.